Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today's video is gonna be a little bit random. I'm just kind of compiling everything all in one. This past weekend, Bunky and I went to the mountains with my parents and we had the best little weekend getaway. It was so much fun and I did film a lot of it so I wanted to share that with you guys. We visited all of these little mountain towns. We did some antiquing, we ate some yummy, yummy food and so I wanted to share that. So I'm gonna take you back, share this past weekend with you guys and then today we're actually gonna go grocery shopping shopping and do a little grocery haul. We are out of quite a few things, so I just kind of need to restock us, but it is our anniversary this week, and we haven't decided if we're going to go to the beach or not. We've been talking about it. I think we're going to end up going for a few days, so I don't want to get too many things just in case we're not here, but we also are filming a couple of dinners this week. So anyway, I just need to get some groceries, and then tonight we're actually going to make a crock pot recipe that I've never tried before, but I think it's going to be so good. So I'm going to share that recipe with you guys. So it's like a vlog grocery haul recipe all in one. I thought that would be like a really fun video. Um, it is almost lunchtime now, so I have really got to get a move on, get to the grocery store and get back here so I can put this crock pot meal on so we can eat a decent time tonight. So anyways, I'm going to take you guys back to this weekend and then we will head to the grocery store. Good morning. I do not have on any eye makeup yet, but we are packing up. About to hit the road, we have to go drop Daisy May off. We call it doggy daycare. It's at Bunky's mom's house. She's gonna take care of Daisy May this weekend. And then we're getting in the car and we're gonna go meet my parents at the farm and head to Asheville and I am so excited. Mama's getting her sweet tea. <laughs> so our first stop on the way to Asheville was in this adorable little mountain town called Saluda. And let me just tell you, I cannot wait to go back. I told Bunky, we have to go and just spend the day there sometime. It's not too far from us. And we had breakfast at this adorable little coffee shop and bakery. This was a tomato bacon basil scone, and it was one of the best things I've ever eaten. I'm pretty much going to go back just so I can have that for breakfast again. It was amazing, but they also had a couple little antique shops that we went in, and then they also have, I think I'm saying this right, the oldest grocery store in the United States. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe it's only North Carolina. I can't remember, but anyway... It was so cool. They had very unique things in there. All of this fresh produce, they had their own butcher and they had like old timey um, glass bottles of like Coke and Sundrop. It was my kind of place, like totally took me back in time. So adorable. Okay, it's kind of raining, so we're hurrying to walk in. We have been in Asheville for a little bit. We went to a couple antique stores, and now we're going to High Wire Brewery, which is like Funky's favorite, so he's super excited. Okay, so let me just tell you, I am so thankful that Saturdays are my cheat day because y'all, these beer cheese covered homemade french fries were some of the best fries I have ever eaten. I've never had beer cheese before, but I can tell you I already can't wait to have it again. It was so yummy. It had like whole grain mustard in there. It was a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. It was so good. But anyway, after we left High Wire, we went and checked into our hotel. And y'all, this hotel was so beautiful. Cool. 
So our hotel room had this big window that kind of overlooked the downtown area and our actual hotel was kind of in the heart of downtown so you could easily walk anywhere, get to all of the restaurants, shops, breweries, all of that. So we spent the evening just kind of walking around, going to dinner and then we did head back and have drinks at the hotel at nighttime and they had this like beautiful fire outside, they had this band playing, they were really good so we had the best time. Good morning. We got our coffee. It is Sunday. I think we're going to pack up and head to another little like mountain town. I don't think I vlogged a lot last night, but we went and had dinner and it actually ended up being Bunky's uncle's restaurant where he's like the chef there. And so it worked out perfectly. It was so good. What's it called B? Twisted Laurel. It was really, really good. So if you guys are in Asheville, you should totally go there. And then we went and um, walked around a little bit and had drinks downstairs. We had like a fire. It was kind of cool outside. It was so nice. Like I felt so glamorous. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But anyways, we got our coffee this morning. We're headed to another little like mountain town and do some like antiquing today. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, we want to tell you guys about this restaurant because it was so good. Um, Uncle Tom got us two different appetizers. We had his famous grandfather's meatballs and then the most delicious Brussels sprouts. They were I, so good. That I think I've ever eaten. And then we had a pizza with um what's that sopressetta sopressetta and basil and some kind of hot chili peppers on it and then like chunks of mozzarella and sauce and it was so delicious good. and you of course had buffalo roasted buffalo cauliflower that was amazing too yeah these brussels sprouts they were like crispy and they had like balsamic glaze gorgonzola and roasted pistachios. pistachios like they were the best brussels sprouts i have ever eaten i already cannot wait to go back and i'm having my chai tea latte <laughs> that's it So next stop on our way home was this adorable little town called Black Mountain and inside of Black Mountain there is Montreat College and y'all this is one of the most beautiful college campuses I have ever been on. It was so serene, so peaceful, there was no one really there. They were having a church service outside and playing the most beautiful worship music. There was this amazing waterfall, butterflies everywhere, creeks running, I mean I just cannot explain to you it was like somewhere out of like a storybook it was so beautiful So this was one of my favorite parts of this little campus. Right outside of the church where they were doing the worship service, there was this prayer porch and all of those little white things you see are pieces of paper with prayers on them folded up and put kind of in the crevices of this little porch and there was this creek running right out behind it so you could hear that while you were in there and it was so peaceful and what a wonderful place to go and pray and then we went into this town and had lunch at this place called the veranda and let me tell you Bunky is like we have to go back he would go back every weekend <laughs> if we could they had homemade sandwiches and soups and y'all some of the best sandwiches and soups you will ever eat trust me this restaurant we just left had all of these cookies that look so good they're super soft this is a white no this is a salted caramel white chocolate macadamia nut cookie this is like a salted pretzel chocolate chunk cookie i took a bite of this it was the best thing i ever ate i went back and got another one holy moly Okay, ignore my handwriting, but this is my little list of just things that we are completely out of that I know I need. And then of course, just like regular groceries, but I'm gonna take my list with me and we are going to head to Walmart.
Okay, so I am back in the car now. I don't know if y'all can see my back seat, but I have a ton of stuff that I've taken to Goodwill. So if it looks crazy back there, it's just because I need to go by Goodwill. Um, but anyways, I got pretty much everything on my list in Walmart. They were out of my favorite eggs and bacon. I got some different eggs. I did not pick up any bacon. So those two things. And then I was looking for like a specific coffee creamer that I could not find in there. But other than that, I got everything that I was looking for. So I'm going to head home now, unload all the groceries, and then I'll show you guys what I got. I will start over here. I picked up some Fruity Pebbles for Bunky. This man loves some cereal. He will eat it as a snack. He'll eat it as dinner. Anytime, anywhere, he loves some cereal. So I got him those. And then the other night we were making um, our barbecue chicken nachos, which we have not made those in so long. And y'all, I forgot how amazing they are. And they're so quick and easy. I'll try and find a video that has that recipe in there and link it below for y'all. But anyway, we were making them and I realized I did not have any black beans. So I ended up using kidney beans, which was fine. But anyway, I wanted to make sure I stocked up on those. And then I got this can of um, diced roasted garlic tomatoes. And that's actually for our recipe we're going to make here in just a few minutes. And then I picked up some broccoli. And then I also picked up some more sweet potatoes. If y'all saw my video, I think it was last week where I made sweet potatoes in our air fryer and they turned out so good. We actually made these again last night at Bunky's parents' house in their air fryer. And they were like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how good these are. So I wanted to get more of these so I could make those again. You gotta try it if you never have. They're awesome in there. And then I also picked up some mozzarella cheese, some Fiesta blend cheese. We love this for tacos and pretty much just everything. And then I love having these little zesty Italian um, seasoning packets on hand. These are just so great to give things extra flavor so I got another one of those some butter and some tomatoes for Mr. B some carrots I love having these for lunch lately especially with like hummus or even a little bit of ranch so good and then I got us some iceberg lettuce um, like I said they did not have the eggs that I normally get but they still had these so I got some large brown eggs and then Bunky loves his Mio Energy. He like uses this every single day. So I got him another one of those. And then I also picked up this strawberry and cream little soda. There's zero sugar, zero calorie, um, zero caffeine. But my friend Anna actually made me this little like mocktail with this stuff one time and it was so good. And I have been like wanting to make that again. So I picked up this. Basically, you just do like crushed ice, a little bit of this soda, and then just a splash of like heavy cream and it tastes like strawberries and cream like it is so good so anyway i've been wanting to make that again and then i also got some sour cream we only have like our big sam's club um black pepper and it's not like the pepper grinder it's just kind of like powdery pepper so i wanted to pick up one that has like the better quality pepper in it and then we were all out of salsa so i got some salsa for b I also got some Brussels sprouts because I want to try and make those same ones that we had in Asheville that were so good. So I got some of those, some little hash browns. I love having these sometimes in the morning or even like for lunch. And then I got an avocado and some garlic. And then y'all know we love this bread. So I got some of that for lunches this week. I picked up this sweet Valdea onion um, salad dressing. Bunky wanted a really good salad dressing. He told me to eat with his like kale salads. And so I thought he would really like this one. And then we were totally out of mayo and y'all know in the south we cannot live without some duke's mayo so i restocked us there and then we were also totally out of barbecue sauce and we love the sweet baby rays so i picked up that some milk some chicken back here i'm going to use this for our crock pot recipe and then um and then I used to take these for lunch with me like almost every single day whenever I was working. And then once I've like started doing YouTube full time, I haven't bought these. And I saw my friend Jennifer over at Cook, Clean, and Repeat talk about them. And I was like, man, I miss having those. So I picked up a bag of these cheddar rice crisps. They're so good. Such a great like alternative to chips if you've never tried them. So I got those and I think that is everything. Okay, so I've got my crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with a little bit of Pam and then add my chicken breast. So to my chicken breast, I'm gonna go ahead and just season them with salt and pepper and then a little bit of Italian seasoning. If you have fresh herbs, you could use that. Just use whatever you have on hand. Okay. 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna give this garlic kind of like a rough chop. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gonna go in there to give it some flavor. Okay, now to go on top of this chicken, I'm just gonna put this red onion and I'm really just gonna put it over top of like one or two pieces because y'all know I don't really want it in there on mine, <laughs> but it will be okay. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in the garlic. Now, I need you to film me, Pinky. This recipe is actually a like balsamic chicken crock pot recipe. And just now when I was at Walmart, I called Bunky and said, Bunky, can you just be certain that we have some balsamic vinegar from our recipe? And he said, yes, I don't need to go check. I know for sure we have some. Do we have balsamic vinegar, Bunky? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to compromise. Okay, so since we don't have balsamic vinegar, thank goodness for HelloFresh because we did have this little bottle of it left over from a recipe. So I'll use that. We did have this balsamic glaze, so I'll add that to it. And then to give it more of like a liquid consistency, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this soy sauce because I thought that sounded really good with balsamic vinegar and it'll kind of give it that like salty, yummy flavor. And to add just a little bit of spice, I'm gonna add a few crushed red pepper flakes, but you do not have to use this. We left my tripod in my parents' car over the weekend, so Bunky and I are having to like make shift and be able to film this. By the way, Bunky is eating his sweet Valdea onion dressing. Yeah. He says it's amazing. It is really good. Onions for lunch and for dinner. Oh, good gosh. Okay, so we're just gonna pour this right on top of the chicken. We're gonna pop a lid on it and then I'm just gonna cook it on high for like six hours. Um, you could totally do it on low for like seven to eight. Oh, almost forgot. The tomatoes. Hmm. I was wondering where we were gonna get some more liquid from. <laughs> Do you just dump the whole can juices and all? It says spoon undrained tomatoes over top. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, use some of the juice. I'm using all the juice. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump this entire can in there. Are we gonna dump it or spoon it? I say dump it. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let some of the sauce go first. Because they're supposed to kind of land on top, right? Mm-hmm. Man. It's going to be good, I think. Yeah, I did a great job there. You really did. Okay, now we're going to pop a lid on, let it cook on high for like six hours. If you want to cook it on low, you can do like seven to eight. And we'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so our chicken has been cooking in the crock pot for about five, five and a half hours. It is done at this point. I just turned it on to warm because Bunky is doing a few things out in the yard. So I'm just letting it kind of sit in here until he's done. And can I just tell you, this has made our house smell so good. And every little bit, I'll just come in here and kind of put this liquid back up on top to keep it nice and moist. But y'all, oh my gosh, I just can already tell you it's going to have so much flavor. Bunky and I are trying to decide what we want to eat with it. I said sweet potatoes because I'm just in love with them right now. He said no, so I don't know what we're going to have as our side. But I can tell you that chicken is going to be a good one. I'm on the hunt, Bunky. Well, it's hard to find something in this pantry that looks like a complete disaster. You know, Bunk, I've seen you film a video of organizing this thing. I know, it just got it, really it, sort of unorganized. Like, what happens every, every time? Every I don't know. Time. Okay, I felt like there... I think it is. I think there is oh, some back here. Yeah, Please yeah. let this be it. How'd you see that? I didn't. I'm taller than you. Okay. I think we decided on making this rice pilaf to go along with our chicken. Should we do a salad or no? You had a salad for lunch. I could do it. Uh, you know, I could one? do it again. Mm -hmm. Do we have one of the ones that's like you know already pre-made? Blah blah. No. Okay. On porch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started, and then do you want to shred this chicken or do you want to eat it whole? Uh, I want to eat it whole. I took a bite without you knowing. You did. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and for all of you who are so impressed with the fact that this has onions on it and tomatoes, and I'm still eating it, y'all, I'm trying just little baby steps here. I really can't taste the onion too much, so I don't mind it. 
and it's big enough chunks that I can kind of take them off. But that's some good chicken. Now what are you eating? How do you catch? <laughs> I don't know, I was in the pantry. Whose are these? They're, okay. These are the chips that when I asked you to go to the grocery store and get me barbecue Pringles, you brought those back and I never ate them. Well, they open. I didn't open them. I think I opened them and took one, but I didn't finish eating them. These are really stale, actually. <laughs> They're old. I'm gonna just toss them, okay. unfortunately. And I made some sweet tea for us, Bonk. This is gonna be yummy. So it says to turn it on to medium heat, add some butter. Add some butter. Uh huh. Just any amount you want. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It says um, two tablespoons. So that's about right. That actually looks. Yeah. I mean, but don't don't take my word for it because I can't measure anything. No, I love it more. Okay. Once this gets warm and melted, we're gonna add this in, brown it, and then we'll add in the water and the seasonings. Bring it to a boil. Let it cook. Reduce to a simmer, it'll be done. <laughs> and enjoy. Yes. How's the butter looking? Looking good. I love rice pilaf so much. Yeah, I think it's gonna pair very well with this meal. I think so too. And we're not, uh, we don't eat a lot of rice, really. Yeah. Okay, I need you to get me two cups of water, B. Okay. Now that we are nice and golden brown, Bunky's gonna add in two cups of water. It said slowly. It said slowly. Oh, well, I, didn't read, I didn't know. Is that not good? I guess it's okay. I almost splashed you. I know. Sorry. Should I add this, this one too? Uh huh. Yeah. And then um, the little packet that came in the box that has all the seasonings. Mm, okay. The flavor. Yes. Have a nice sprinkling in. Read that box, baby. Huh? Read that box. Oh. I think it just says cover it and bring it to a boil. Yeah, it says sl slowly stir in water and special seasonings. Bring to a boil. Uh-huh. We're cranking the heat. But cover it? Uh, once it's boiling. Okay. And then you cover and reduce heat to low. Simmer 17 to 22 minutes or until rice is tender. Perfect. I caught you. This is hot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That is good. And that's a like dump and go, set it and forget it. Oh my gosh. It is so much flavor, right? It almost tastes like it's Italian food. Uh-huh, it's good. <laughs> it's gonna go good with our little pasta. Okay, this is boiling, so what do we do? Is this what we started with? Yeah. Let's give it another little... We, now we cover. Okay. And reduce to a simmer. Gonna take it down to about a, a one and a half. Okay, and we don't set a timer? For 17 minutes, please. Just make it. Mm, don't be scraping the crock. Oh. I know, I wanna give it a little bit more juice too. Get out the uh, red spoon. Or you don't want anything other than just the meat, do you? Yeah, I just want the meat. Wow, that's gonna be so good! Mm -hmm. And then for this kale salad, we're gonna keep it super simple. So I'm gonna make like a little dressing. I'm gonna use some avocado oil. We're gonna do some salt and pepper um, so that I don't have to like dirty up any more dishes or go through the trouble of doing like fresh garlic. I'm just gonna use some garlic powder and then um, Bunky is going to Squeeze some lemon juice in there. Oh, and, Dijon. and just a little bit of this Dijon mustard. Basically what I made the other day, we're just um, making it really simple with the garlic powder. That is so good. I'm telling you, that's like the easiest, best little vinaigrette. Vinaigrette, if there's no vinegar in it, Bunky? Yes, because the lemon juice adds the acidity. 
It's an acidic red. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't with you. So this is what's for dinner tonight. I'm telling you, this is like such an easy, wonderful little crock pot dish. I love the rice peel off with it. Our kale salad looks yummy. We got some sweet tea. So we are about to dig in. Bucky has a great idea for this crock pot meal, so I want him to tell you. I think that <laughs> I think the chicken would be a lot better if it was like shredded up in the crock pot because then it would absorb all of that good juice and stuff. Yes. And then you can just like scoop it right out of there and just dump it right on top of the rice. And I was eating all of it together anyway. Like I have a little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken, and all that stuff. I ate the bites together, like the rice and the chicken together, and that to me was my favorite. And the only reason I did not do that was because I don't like the onions or tomatoes. Yeah. So I want to eat my whole piece of chicken. But I think it's genius if you like all those things, just mix it all up. Do you know what might, might be good too? What? You could almost throw like mushrooms in there. Oh, you could if you like that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you like it would that? be good. Uh -huh. oh, oh, and one last thing. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh. said to use fresh herbs but i think like the fresh herbs oh yeah like the fresh herbs would really make a big difference yes okay let me okay so i basically was like going through my cookbooks trying to find a recipe or something to make for tonight so i found this one and i kind of just like made it my own so i kind of followed it but then Pretty also cool. <laughs> also changed a bunch of things so i'll try and like type out what i did down below in the description box but the actual recipe said to use like fresh herbs that's what monkey was saying and i think that would be really good as well but anyway it turned out so good so you guys will have to try it and tell me what you think thank you for watching hanging out with us going on our little weekend trip all of the things don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all Bye, y'all. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Take care. Regards. <laughs> Best wishes. Peace out. Peace out.